Hey, do you want to learn Fusion 360 by going through some more complicated examples? Let's do it. Hey, I'm Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso, helping you design and build faster with the Fusion platform. So today, I want to cover a few examples, definitely good for beginners and intermediates. Good for beginners, for intermediates, it's more tips and best practices on how you can build faster. Before we get into that first example, hit that subscribe button for me, hit that like button. Okay, so the first one you're looking at it, we're gonna start a new file. I'll hit save, always a good practice, hit save, so that auto save kicks in. I'm gonna do the frame guide, give it a name. And then on the front plane, I'll turn on my origins and start sketching, hit the S key and create a sketch. I love using the S key, it brings up some of my shortcuts. And you can also search for them. So we could do this on just about any different plane that we want to, but I'm gonna come in and sketch this rough outline. Three point arc, just by typing it in on the S key, go over, just stretch out kind of what I'm looking for here. And again, Rule of thumb, I'm trying to just draw solids here. I'm not trying to draw anything else, sketch anything else, no cuts, just the solid shapes. So I only sketch the solids and I'm gonna cut out a very specific size hole on this next one, making it a little bit easier. Let's throw on all of our dimensions. This is a metric part, so I should have done that right at the beginning. Uh, always a good practice to do that first. Doing it now before I place a dimension. So I guess not too bad. 107. Okay, I'm gonna run through throwing on the dimension. Okay, what is missing? Always, I try to drag any blue points and see what moves. That's my giveaway, what I'm missing in my dimensions and constraints. So when I place this dimension in the middle, from the center point to the end, I know that this is supposed to be 51, but I'm getting this extra dimension. What does that mean? It means that I've already defined where that arc sits from the edge. Basically, with the radius and everything else that's been defined, I can't really adjust this left to right, right? But I can adjust the size of this arc. That's what I can adjust. Okay. We could cut it out now, or we can make this construction geometry. Both will work. Okay, these definitely appear to be concentric, meaning they share the same center point. Okay, because this hole is gonna come through and it's properly dimensioned, I might go ahead and only extrude this outer shape. All right, so we've got the first solid shape done. Let's extrude it, throw on uh, some cuts and some fillets, and we'll be done. Q kicks on my press pull. I can extrude it front to back. We'll give it the depth of the overall, which is 48. And there we go. Let's throw on some cuts. We'll start sketching on this face. I'll throw a center line right in the middle, so I construction line, so I know what's going on there. I always like to do that line. Hold down the mouse, turns on my tangent arc. I love that shortcut. Okay, fully defined. Okay, fully defined, let's cut through just this block. If I do my Q command, it's gonna throw that on and it wants to cut it out, but I wanna make sure to stop always at the end of this block. So I'm going to use, my starting is the plane, my extent fixes to an object. I want it to go to this face, always, and I want it to cut, 
hit OK. So I always wanted to cut out that block, that side of it. Okay, looking at the top plane, start my sketch. I'm going to sketch two holes here. Okay, always I like to throw in my constraints first. I like to use construction lines whenever I can. Old habit. I like to use construction lines. So there we go. That means they line up no matter what. Uh, these two are always equal. Okay, now that we have it fully defined, I'll hit that Q. I'll cut all the way through. Be sure to select both. Holding the Command key allows me to, or Control on a PC, allows me to select both. And let's do an all the way through cut. Okay, so you get the question sometimes, what about that through all cut? Isn't that gonna just chop, isn't that gonna shoot a hole through no matter what you place in? And this is order dependent. It's like a laser or a bullet. You shoot it from the gun and then it goes through the object once. You're adding a plate after the gun has already gone off. Hit OK. There's my new plate. The cut happens before the plate. Okay, so now I want to place a cut on a curved surface. And there's different ways you can do this, but because this is a simple model, I can shoot it from a planar face down below, and that makes my life a little bit easier. Start a sketch on the top face. Sketch a circle. And then go start adding dimensions and relationships. Through all cut, done. Now we get, let's add some fillets to the model and we'll be done. Cool, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos. We're building some examples in Fusion 360.